Are you new to the game and you just unlocked Brock? Or, or maybe you've had him for a while and you just haven't really felt it. You just haven't been really jiving with my man Brock. Today we're going to go over some quick tips and a short guide on how to play Brock. Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video. Today we are going to be doing another Crash Course vid. Today the topic is Brock. Now Brock is actually one of my favorite brawlers, has been for a long time. Well, except for when he was first released. His shots were so slow when he first released that nobody hardly played him because he was kind of, it was so easy to dodge his shots. It's like, oh, here comes a Brock Rocket. I'm gonna go make a sandwich real quick. I'll be back and then you get back, you're like, oh, it's still, still coming. All right, maybe some coffee. Coffee's good, yeah. Hmm. Okay, hey, I better move it to the side here. Uh -huh, no problem, missed his shot. His shots were slow. In fact, I think he's been buffed like three or four times his shot speed to get it to where it is now, which he's in a pretty good place now. And Brock can be crazy deadly if you know how to use him. And that's what I hope to show you today. Just some quick tips and a short guide on how to use Brock. Now Brock is one of the three really long range brawlers in Brawl Stars, along with Piper and Ricochet. You get him pretty early on as a league reward brawler. He has a really high damage output and just a crazy strong super. He does, however, have a low amount of health, so when you're playing him, you always want to try to keep your range for the most part. There are some situations where if another brawler, ones that have somewhat lower health as well, you can almost charge them, get close enough and spam auto aim, and his burst damage is enough that he'll be able to kill them, but that's not always how you want to play. That's Those are specific scenarios. Um, but for the most part, you want to stay back, keep your range, be launching those rockets from a long distance because your primary role is going to be as a support and long range damage dealer. Now, because of that low health, if you find yourself toe to toe, fists up, standing there with another tank like Bull or Primo on your toes, yeah, sorry, you lost because they're just going to pound you down really quick. He doesn't have a lot of health. Again, he has an ultra long range, so be sure to utilize that. Brock is actually really good in a lot of different game modes. There's only a couple that he just really doesn't perform very well on at all. Let's start off with Brawl Ball. On Brawl Ball, he can work pretty well. He's average on some maps, maybe slightly above average. Um, probably usually not your first choice that you want to go with, but he, he can do a great job because he does have that uh, super that can break down walls, which is a big benefit in Brawl Ball. On Brawl Ball, you probably don't want to play him on Triple Dribble. There's too many walls. He just doesn't have very many long sight ranges that you're going to use. So look to play Brock in uh, Brawl Ball on Backyard Bowl and Pinhole Punt. Now, Jim Grab, he's probably above average. He does do really well in Jim Grab, but it really kind of depends on your team composition. But that's probably the case for almost every brawler in Jim Grab. Probably Brock's best maps in Jim Grab are Crystal Cavern, Bone Box, and Hard Rock Mine. That's because he has such a long sight line ranges, and you usually don't have to worry about throwers too much. And Brock actually does a pretty decent job at countering Ricochet. So, and you're gonna see Ricochet a lot on those maps. So look to play Brock in Crystal Cavern, Bone Box, and Hard Rock Mine because he excels pretty well at those maps. In Heist, he's average as well. He's not the greatest, but he definitely can work and can be very devastating if you use him correctly. With the current meta of Heist, there's a lot of tanks. You're really gonna have to hit those shots and keep your distance because if they sneak up on you, like especially like in Kaboom Canyon, you're gonna be dead real quick. So play him carefully, but if you find yourself in the right position, he can absolutely destroy the safe and the enemy brawlers as we will see later on. Now let's talk about Bounty because Bounty is Brock's best game mode, undoubtedly. Him and Piper are like the tag team duo in uh, Bounty. If you pick them two, you can put almost anybody in there with them and still make a really great team comp. I would recommend like Piper, Brock, and Bo. That's probably the, the strongest Bounty composition right now, but Brock can play really well in every single Bounty map. Feel free to take him into all of them and just completely rain those rockets down on your enemies. Now let's talk about Showdown. Solo Showdown, Brock is really not very good. That's one of his game modes that he just doesn't do great at. He doesn't have the health to really stand up to the tanks. He can't shoot at throwers that are behind walls. And just in general, it just doesn't work out very well for Brock. That doesn't mean you can't play him in Showdown and win because you absolutely can. However, I would definitely steer clear of Showdown. If you want to play Showdown, let's play some Duo Showdown because Duo Showdown, Brock is actually really good. The addition of a teammate that has 
more health and more of a controlling factor really helps him out and he makes a great teammate in Duo Showdown because of his high damage and ability to burst down multiple brawlers with that huge devastating super. Now while Brock is very versatile, he does not do very well in the special events. His reload time is just too slow for Robo Rumble to provide that constant DPS that you have to have. His super is good, but it just doesn't build up fast enough and you're not gonna find yourself using it as much as you probably could. So he's below average to not very good at all. I would say that you could use him if you're just messing around, but I would steer clear of him on Robo Rumble. And for boss fight, it's almost the same thing too here. He could be a little bit better as the attacker than he is the boss, but even at that, he's not the greatest because his shots still aren't really fast, so they can be dodged pretty easily. It's not an insane amount of constant DPS, like say a Colt would be, or Shelly whenever she gets up close, but he can work as an attacker. I just, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just really not a very good choice. So stay away from him on the special events like Robo Rumble and Boss Fight. Now, one thing about Brock that you may not know is that he actually does splash damage. I'm not talking about just his star power incendiary that leaves a patch of fire on the ground. That of course does splash damage, but he actually does splash damage with his main attack. Now here's the situation that you could use his splash damage. As you can see, we've got a brawler hiding behind the wall. If you land that shot right next to them, it's not a direct hit. It's maybe a half tile from hitting them. However, the splash damage is enough there to actually still inflict that damage. So while it's a little bit more of a specialized scenario, you can make it work. Or if brawlers are tightly grouped together or they're standing on top of each other, you hit one, you're gonna hit both. So it does do some splash damage. So keep that in mind. Now Brock's shots, they travel pretty slow. Now again, not as slow as when he was first released, but because of this, you're gonna to wanna to take some time to get used to leading his shots. Now it does of course depend on many factors, but you wanna lead him a little bit more than you would say Piper. If you find yourself within a couple tiles of the enemy, feel free, use quick fire, auto aim, spam away if they're like within two tiles. But other than that, you really pretty much never wanna use it because you're not just not gonna hit your enemies. As you can see here on the screen, it shows me leading uh, Primo there as he's running across. That's about the correct lead that you're gonna to wanna to get. That's near max range, but it's not absolutely, but you get the idea. And then right now you're gonna see me just using quick fire. As you can see, it does not hit the enemy whatsoever. It doesn't even come close. So be sure to get used to using that manual aim for your shots on Brock because that is absolutely the main way that you're going to wanna to play him. Another quick tip is that if there's some sort of object that you know that your enemy is gonna be going for, whether that be a hiding place or say a gem on the ground, you see them coming, you know that what their eventual goal is going to be, shoot at say that gym land on the ground and time it to where it meets there when you, whenever your opponent does. If they juke back and they don't get the gym, well then great, you've denied them from getting the gym. But if they don't, well then you've hit them with your rocket, so it's a win-win either way. Now, as we've talked about before, Brock Super Rocket Rain, it's incredible. There are times when you can use it just as a pure as an area denial tool. Some situations like if there was a pile of gems, you're playing gem grab and you, somebody was wiped, you can drop your super on top of the pile of gems, whether there's you know somebody in them or not, and you will deny the other team from walking in there because nobody wants to walk into the middle of that rocket rain. It's just, it's not gonna work out well for you. So it might buy you enough time to let your teammates come into the fight with you. And now it's not the ideal use of his super and it's not as good as like say Barley's is at doing that. But in a pinch, if it's life or death, you just, you've gotta have this, you can use it in that fashion. Similarly on Heist, whenever your tanks charge in, usually what's gonna happen is the enemy team is gonna converge on your tanks. Like their, their short range ballers are going to go to the safe and try to kill your guys that are currently wiping it out. This is a great time to use your super because you're gonna get extra value. You're gonna be doing damage to the shit safe, perhaps breaking some walls, and you're gonna be completely tearing up the enemy brawlers as well. So look to use Brock's super in those situations and it's gonna really help you out. Now one of the best ways to use Brock's super is to catch your opponent off guard. Whenever somebody sees Brock's super light up, they know that it's super devastating. Now, maybe not so much as like Terra's, but whenever you see that circle go yellow, you, you know that there's danger on the way. And if they see that super, well then they know that, hey, I need to either charge Brock or get ready to fall back real quick. 
they're ready to get out of the range of that super. So the best way to avoid that is make it to where they don't even know what's coming. That's right, hide in a bush, wait for your opponent to get into range, and when you drop the super on them, before they realize what's happening, they've probably already been hit with at least one or two of your rockets, and make it enough for you to finish them off real quick, or they completely die in it. And for extra value, get two or more of the brawlers. Also look to find spots where you're destroying terrain along with the other brawlers to get extra value. So if there's a certain wall that they've been hiding behind that your team doesn't need, yes, that's a great time to unleash your super on that area, killing them and destroying one of their hiding spots, making it easier for you as a long range brawler to get more shots on the enemy. So my closing thoughts on Brock are that he's actually one of my favorite brawlers. He, he used to be one of the worst for a long time when he first launched, of course, because we talked about how slow his shots were. But now he's actually really, really strong. I think that he's a bit easier to play than Piper, although if I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm not sure why, because they both play somewhat similarly, although you don't want to play Brock exactly like Piper because they are different. Like I said, you can usually... Um, because Piper doesn't do very much damage close up. Like I said, those, some of those situations where you catch somebody that's at medium to low health, you can charge them and use quick fire and you can kill them that way. So you probably couldn't do that with Piper and you wouldn't want to. However, for some reason, I think Brock is a little bit easier to play than Piper. Um, his super is absolutely more offensive than like Piper's defensive super, but he's a great all-around brawler and his versatility really proves useful when you're pushing trophies with him because you don't have to wait for one certain game mode. You can find a team and make him work in almost every single game mode, which is really great. And one thing that's even maybe more valuable than all of those great attributes that he has is, dude's got pink sandals. You know you've got those 30 gems sitting there. You've built them up out of your boxes. He's got a boom box on his rocket. He's got pink flippers and he's got short shorts. Get that beach brock skin, man. It instantly makes him like twice as good. No joke, it's it's coded in the game. If you get beach brock, you know, you're gonna win. <laughs> okay, that's probably not true. Actually, I know that's not true, but you know what, party on. You know you want that beach brock skin, get it. But yeah, Brock is absolutely one of my favorite brawlers. He is so cool. He does great damage, very well-rounded. So once you get Brock, Absolutely, I would say the biggest thing to work on is leading those shots, getting the, the distance of how well you should lead him down. Once you've got that down, that's the main spot right there. Learn how to utilize your super in the best way. And once you do that, because your primary goal is a you know long range damage dealer as Brock, leading your shots and knowing when and where to use your super you'll be doing great with Brock and you'll be a big benefit to your team as well. So that's going to wrap it up for this video on Brock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Lex out. All right, so listen, there's two types of people in this world. Those that make it to the end of the video and those that don't. You know, congrats on being one of the awesome ones. While you're here, think about subscribing. Just click that button right above my logo there or go check out those videos right over there because, you know, you're like I said, you're one of the awesome ones. So uh, you deserve some more. Treat yourself to another video.